are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, I tried to warn you guys that we have not seen the end of ESPN firing their talent. Over the years now, guys, for the better part of a decade, especially, you know, the last couple of years, ESPN is losing. This is a failing network, folks. It is a failing company. We did videos on the massive layoffs that actually happened um, last year. On-air talent was fired. A whole bunch of them, guys. I'm talking about Jeff Van Gundy, people like that. And it got a lot of media attention, guys. And I told you, they would not stop. And then what happened? What was it? About a month ago, they uh, fired uh, Sam Ponder and uh, RG3. Well, guess what, guys? Another one has now bitten the dust. And this guy's losing over a million dollars in salary. And the reason why he actually got fired was his salary. Can't make this up, guys. I'm not making this up. ESPN is a failing company. Stephen A. Smith, you're on the clock, man. Apparently, he's actually going to get his money. But if I was him, I wouldn't feel too confident that I would actually make it through my next contract. I believe Stephen A. is actually up for um, his contract at the end of this year or sometime next year. Stephen A., you may actually want to look for a um, another place to work. Because if I'm an ESPN, I would not feel comfortable at all, guys. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. Here we go, guys. ESPN lays off NBA reporter Zach Lowe. Over seven figure salary. Yes, this man actually got fired because of the money. ESPN is going down and people with these um million dollar salaries. You out of here. You out of here. Look here. It says another high profile talent is out of ESPN. Senior NBA writer Zach Lowe has been laid off by the network. The Athletics Andrew Marshawn reported. Lowe had been with ESPN for more than a decade, having joined Bill Simmons' uh, Grantland Vertical in 2012 after writing for Sports Illustrated. Lowe was one of the few Grantland writers who made the transition over to ESPN when the Vertical shuttered in 2015. NFL writer uh, Bill Barnwell was another one. And that's uh, Zach Lowe uh, right there. Anyway, it goes on. Low salary, more than $1 million a year, was the biggest factor in his dismissal from ESPN, according to the athletics. So apparently this had nothing to do with his uh, work productivity. They fired this man strictly because of his salary. That's why they fired this man, guys. They fired him over him apparently making too much money. In addition to uh, writing for ESPN, Lowe regularly appeared on NBA Today, the network's daily NBA program, and hosted the popular uh, Low Post podcast. Lowe's exit from ESPN follows the shocking layoffs of uh, Robert Griffin III, RG3, and Samantha Ponder, which happened last month, right before football season. And believe it or not, guys, the NBA is actually going to be starting up here pretty soon. We're almost in October and um, the NBA regular season, I believe, starts like um, October 22nd or something like that. Yeah, it's coming fast. A silver lining for low is that the timing lines up as NBC and Amazon are stocking up on NBA talents before their league rights agreements. Uh, starting 2025. So are they saying that maybe he can actually get a job with uh, NBC or Amazon? 
Um, I guess it's possible. Uh, the low news follows last week's stunner that ESPN's ESPN's elite NBA reporter, Agent Wojnarowski, yeah, we made a video on him, left the company to be the general manager of his alma mater, say Bonaventure's men's basketball team. Yeah. So Woj is out, and now Zach Lowe is out, man. Boy, the future of ESPN, man, it is looking really, really bleak. Now, I'm pretty sure, guys, that um, the reason why they actually do these layoffs slash um, firings, it has a lot to do with money. But apparently in this guy's case, he's making a million dollars. I'm pretty sure, you know, that's not even um, maybe that's just mid range over there, you know, for people doing what he actually does. I don't really know. But when you actually find out that you're getting um, fired, laid off because of your salary. I mean, did he even offer was he even offered the opportunity to even take a pay cut? Something's telling me I highly doubt it. Now, me, myself, I wouldn't take a pay cut. And, uh, you know, hopefully he actually finds um, another job here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure that um, that he will be able to find something. Like they said, um, NBC is back in the NBA business. Also, Amazon. Amazon is really, really growing um, when it comes to sports. Uh, because like uh, tonight, uh, the Cowboys and the Giants actually play on Amazon. And I believe, yeah, the NBA is also going to be starting on Amazon. So Amazon is definitely trying to expand on the uh, sports front right here. So we will actually have to see what happens, man. But this is not a surprise. And this is not going to stop. He's not the last one. He's not the first. He won't be the last. There will be more. More people will leave. And there has been a drastic change over there at uh, ESPN. And by the way, I was also um, saw an article where Linda Cohn, who has been at ESPN forever for like 30 years. Um, I thought she actually got fired yesterday or she quit because she's actually going to be doing some uh, covering some games in Seattle, I believe, for hockey or something like that. I don't remember exactly. So she's actually doing something else. But um, apparently she still has a job. She's going to be on Sports Center. Linda Cohn still one of the good ones over there at ESPN. Um, but man. It's not going to stop. It is not going to stop. No one at ESPN should be comfortable with their job. You know, it's pretty scary, man. Every time you you actually are going to work and you wonder, man, am I actually going to have a job today? And we've seen with ESPN the past few years or so, definitely not. Your job at ESPN is not guaranteed. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.